Hello everyone. So this is 11th Proteus tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to use relay in circuits as well as how to interface DC motors. So go to pick devices, type DC motor. Okay, here you can see this is having two inputs, this is having three. I'll show with both. So take both. We will also require logic state for giving input. Okay, now place both motors. Nice. I will give inputs. Okay. Now what I like to do is replicate. It is mirror image. See there is difference between rotating by 180 degree and mirror image. Try both while working. You will get to know what's the difference. Now give inputs. Okay, here as well. Now run. So give one, this will rotate in one direction with increasing speed. So it will pause. Now make this zero, it will rotate in opposite direction. So by this you can rotate the motor in both directions that is clockwise as well as anti-clockwise but here 1 0 1 no effect these three are having no effect so these three are only having effects 1 I will zoom in ok so this is rotating with a particular speed this will multiply this that speed by 2 again multiplication so these are steps for speed now I'll pause sorry control Z edit properties you can change maximum RPM and nominal voltage here ok so by changing these values you can adjust the speed so that's the part for from motor now I'll go for relay ok this is the relay I'll require NPN transistor this and as well as one diode ok generic now I'll clear open new not saving sorry I made a mistake I should have cleaned them instead of making new so I'll go once again NPN relay and what was the last oh, diode I will require logic state for giving input as well logic state ok I will press the relay here ok now diode I will rotate it by these many degrees connect it this way ok now one NPN transistor 
puts the deal I need to rotate it again I need to make it brown okay now what's remaining I'll give DC voltage here let's say 5 volt now I'll give input a logic state here to base of input transistor I'll run it it's not working so the relay I have selected only works for 12 volts now let's see what happens again so you can see that the relay is working so using this you can use your DC motor suppose I give constant 5 volt to one terminal and 0 and 10 volts to other terminals so it will give 0 to 5 or 5 to 10 so you can operate a DC motor just by this it is using only one switch you can operate a DC motor for both directions you can use this circuit for other applications as well so guys this is my last protest tutorial I'll, uh, I'll add more tutorials like LCD interfacing or sensor interfacing in my microcontroller tutorial series which I'll do on Kyle so follow that series for knowing other interfacing as well so thank you for supporting me in this tutorial series and I would like to see you in my Kyle series as well